what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John 74 and today I'll be talking about the Black Ops 6 controversy. If you guys are not aware yet you are not going to be able to transfer your skins from the old CODs over to Black Ops 6. But before we get into the topic guys hopefully you guys enjoyed today's gameplay where I managed to die only twice and I was using the MCW assault rifle and also I managed to call in all my kill streaks. so if you guys enjoyed the gameplay leave a like. So anyways, moving on to the next thing that I want to talk about, which is the Black Ops 6 controversy. Um, you're not going to be able to transfer any of your old skins from Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2. And uh, yes, people are pissed, you know, because people have actually wasted over $500 worth of skins. Insane, I know. I know. Who, who the hell does that, really? <laughs> I have never such, done a, such a thing, but I think the most I ever wasted was like $20 per season because you had to buy the season pass back in the day. But nowadays, you can get free uh, card points, so you can actually just get it for free. So I only wasted like around maybe like around 15 bucks or maybe like 20 bucks just to buy the, some of the battle passes after I stopped playing for a certain amount of seasons. And that's about it. I think I wasted like less than like maybe like less than 40 bucks so far <laughs> per cod so uh but not as crazy as some other people have done it for skins you know they waste 20 bucks per skin i've seen those bunny suits i've seen the snoop dogs i've seen the Nicki Minaj's, and i'm like bro y'all don't have enough time to be buying all these things right it's crazy so anyways back to topic <laughs> so the reason has been revealed as to why they want to get rid of all these skins, all these like bunny suits and Nicki Minaj's and Snoop Dogg's is because they want the game to feel more realistic compared to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, I understand they want to make it more realistic, which is badass, it's cool, like, like hell yeah, you know, like the old school Black Ops 1, except we have face paint, but like, it looked more militaristic compared to what it is nowadays, it looked more like a clown show out there, but, um, there's an issue with all this. They said they want to keep it more realistic, but when you look at the pre-order bonuses, you have zombie skins. So what is the point of them saying they want to keep it more realistic when at the end of the day they have zombie skins available for you to purchase? To use in multiplayer, by the way. What the hell, man? <laughs> so, um... In my opinion, I mean, I have some like serious opinion about this. I think this is just to make more money. I mean, if they're gonna re-release a Snoop Dogg skin or a Nicki Minaj skin or a subtype of a superhero skin, they want to make money out of it. Because if you already own Snoop Dogg, you're not gonna rebuy Snoop Dogg with a different skin, right? Because you already own Snoop Dogg. So instead of you stop from, from you stopping you to buy the next skin for Snoop Dogg, they're gonna cancel the old Snoop Dogg. And make you buy a new Snoop Dogg for the next COD. And I'm telling you right now, they're going to re-release Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg has been on every single COD for a while now. Or almost every single COD. And uh, he appears from time to time. So, anyway. So, is it going to make you re-buy a skin that's already out from Modern Warfare 3? They're going to do it in Call of Duty Black Ops. And it's going to happen, man. So, sad world we live in. But yeah, that's greed, man. That's pure greed by Activision. But hey, uh, we got no one else to blame but the player base, to be honest, because people are out there wasting like around more than $500 on skins. It's insane, man. None of these things actually affect the gameplay, but but man, y'all got to stop it. <laughs> you, got, you got no one else to blame but yourselves on this type of greed, you know? But uh, but yeah, I mean, that's what they're going to do. That's exactly what they're going to do. There's a lot of opinions on TikTok saying that uh, it's just pure laziness, pure... pure uh, you know just laziness and if like I, 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 like all the time i'm just saying like that's a that's just greed because <laughs> i'm telling you they're gonna re release the stuff so um so yeah man that's what's gonna happen that's the reason why you cannot transfer the skins over because they want to keep it more realistic according to them but the pre-orders show a different type of thing and you know i don't think it's gonna be realistic at all we're gonna get all those snoop dogs and Nicki minaj's we might even get taylor swift <laughs> who knows but uh yeah expect some of these crazy skins to reappear again and then they're gonna back up on the world because you know what they want to make more money so yeah that's what's gonna happen guys so that is it if you guys want to talk more about these type of things you know let me know in the comment section if you guys have any more topics you guys want to want me to talk about let me know so leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one